Welcome to Daily Mirror Online. I am Ayanti Philip. Mahindra Financial Services is a leading non-banking financial institution in India with over 1,400 offices across India. Today, we have the Chief Operating Officer of Mahindra Financial Services, Mr. Raul Robello, and we also have the founder and chairman of Ideal Group in Sri Lanka, Mr. Nalin Welcome. Good afternoon. Welcome. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Right. Tell us about your new venture together. You want me to start? Would you like to? Yes. Yes. Well, actually, um, our journey with Mahindra started in 2009 uh, when we were appointed as the franchisee for Mahindra and Mahindra of India. And um, we had a very fruitful partnership with them. And in 2019 or so, uh, we uh, jointly commenced an assembly operation in Sri Lanka with their, with their direct investment here, which is the first time that an auto major in the likes of Mahindra has, has got involved with Sri Lanka. Sure. So it was really a feather in our cap. And then from that point onwards, we were discussing ways, about ways and means of how to cement this cooperation further. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is in that context that we identified that we need the expertise and the services of Mahindra Finance, whose uh, AUM is in excess of $11 billion uh, assets under management, that is. Right. Uh, so we, so we, need, we, we, we thought that was going to be a very good fit yes. uh, for a small NBFI Yes. like ideal finance right so that's when we took that quantum leap okay. To, okay to try and reach out to them so you took the quantum leap so ideal finance became mahendra ideal finance yes initially they took a, a stake less than 51 percent yes i think it was around 38 percent so they came on board right and then they wanted the additional uh, equity to take them over to 51 percent so they presently own 58% of our company. And uh, so it's become a subsidiary of uh, Mahindra Finance. Right. And we are very happy about that. Yeah. So, the, so, so the minute we became a subsidiary of Mahindra Finance, it was appropriate to rename, rebrand our name from Ideal Finance to Mahindra Ideal Finance. Sure. Uh, Mr. Rao, tell us a little bit about Mahindra Financial Services. How did it expand? What's unique about the company in India? Tell us a little bit about it. Sure, uh, Ms. Philip, but uh, before that, let me uh, just kind of comment on my gratitude and Mahindra Finance's gratitude to have such a wonderful partnership. As okay. Nalin mentioned, it's been more than a decade and we are going from strength to strength. I mean, today is just one of those milestones sure. where we, you know, kind of build from the, from the great partnership we've had. Right. Uh, if I were to go specifically to your question, uh, Mahindra Finance, of course, is part of the Mahindra Group, a group uh, which is an Indian multinational. It's been around for 75 years, so that itself talks about volumes of, of the parentage of the company. Yes. Uh, specifically, Mahindra Finance has been operating in India for the last 25 years. And when you look at Mahindra Finance place in the Indian financial services uh, market, we are a leader by far in various auto categories. Mm -hmm. We are the number one tractor financing company in India. When you look at the other assets that we finance, whether it is trucks, passenger vehicles, we are in the top three to top five. Uh, what Mahindra Finance does very well and has built over a period of two and a half decades is a keen understanding of rural markets. Right. So if you look at our leadership position, uh, we've been very strong in rural markets. Mm -hmm. And in the Indian context, it was very important at the time when we started to actually expand financial services to the hinterlands. Mm -hmm. The whole concept of financial inclusion, which is now very, uh, you know, it, it, it gains a lot of eyeballs, but Mahindra Finance was doing financial inclusion way back 25 years. One of the pioneers. Pioneers of financial inclusion. Right. Basically uh, providing finance in the remotest corners of the country. Okay. And that's led to uh, the expansion of financial services in the Indian, uh, in the Indian markets. When you look at uh, now the last 25 years, we are one of the most diversified 
non-banking financial institutions in the country. Okay. Uh, right from lending uh, mm -hmm. in, in auto sector, we also lend to the SME sector. Right. Mindra Finance has a subsidiary, a rural housing company. We lend uh, for housing. We have an asset management company, a mutual fund company. We are also a deposit taking MDFC. That means we are able to collect deposits from the public at very good rates. We have an insurance broking arm. Mm -hmm. And besides that, we also have a joint venture in the US, right. uh, which is with DLL, a subsidiary of Rabobank. Okay. Uh, so by this, you would know that besides India, besides being a diverse financial institution in India, we also have our footprint outside. Great. Tell us, how does Sri Lanka fit into the overall strategy? of Mahindra services, financial services? That's a, that's a great question. And uh, linking up to my, to my earlier comments on Mahindra Finance's strengths, our strengths have been lending in, in the rural areas, lending to the uh, asset categories of auto. And when we look at Sri Lanka, it's a very lookalike market, you know, the culture, the kind of opportunities. And Mahindra Finance, when it gets into any business, we always take the long-term view. We are not a, a medium to short-term player. Okay. Uh, Nalin did mention this partnership spans over a decade. Mm -hmm. So when we looked at the Mahindra Finance and Ideal Finance partnership, it just makes sense because there were so many similarities. The right. kind of customer segment that the Ideal fi uh, Group finances, yeah. uh, it works also in rural. It has products which are very similar to the Mahindra Finance products. Mm -hmm. They work in the auto sector. We also have an auto sector, uh, you know, expertise. Mm -hmm. And when we look at where from India now we can go next, there are very few and, and very good opportunities and Sri Lanka just ticked all those boxes. And the partner most, most importantly ticked all those boxes okay. because you, you, make good, uh, you can make good achievements if you have a great partner. Absolutely. So this was a compelling reason enough for us to do. And we think by making this investment and now becoming a majority uh, shareholder in this company, we'll be able to leverage all the learnings of 25 years of existence in India, as well as since Technology today plays such a big role in extending financial services. Our acumen on finance as well as technology, uh, you know, along with the great human capital that, uh, that Ideal Finance has. We've been fortunate and, and I've seen today interacting with the team and we've interacted with them for so long. Amazing human cap capabilities, human capital. So it's a, it's a match made in heaven. Match made in heaven. Wonderful. And I can endorse that. <laughs> okay. I, I have never seen such, uh, you know, Harmony. such lovely words from two partners. But I, I'm just picking up on those words. You said financial acumen, technology, human capital, right? Using all of those three factors, how would you like to enhance the services here in Sri Lanka? How would you like to gain traction and move forward? Yeah. So when you look at... Uh, the might of a financial institution, it starts with capital, right? Any financial institution can throw its weight when it has a strong balance sheet. And the starting for that should be well capitalized. Now, when you look at our joint venture, we tick that box. We have about 38% of capital adequacy. So we have, a, in terms of raw material, capital, we have that for growth. Uh, how do we deploy that capital is very important. Uh, one would be increasing our lending. To do that, we would need to have more branches. Sure. We currently have about 17 branches. Right. We plan to increase our distribution. Uh, you know, Nalin has talked about going deeper, growing wider. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. So that's definitely a path forward. Right. Uh, right. So we'll see more of Mahindra ideal finance institutions across the country. It's already happening. In the near future. It's now already happening. And in the near future, yeah. we'll see. Yeah. We have see a roadmap. Branches. We have ro rolled out a roadmap. Fantastic. So one is distribution, right. two is product diversification. Okay. Today we have a line of products, be it leasing, loans, personal loans, gold loans. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a plan and maybe it's too premature for us to talk about the product of diversification course. today. Sure. Of course. But for any financial institution to be a wide spectrum player, you need to have those boutique of products and services. Yes. And yes. thankfully, we, we are an institution which is not just into lending, but you know, Nalin mentioned that we are also a deposit taking entity. Right. So we have deposits, we have liabilities, we have assets, sure. and we can expand that product portfolio. Amazing. All right. Thank you so much. Is there anything else that you would like to add, um, Mr. Nalim? And Mr. Well, actually, um, in Sri Lanka, if you take the NBFI sector, we have about uh, 45 such companies, uh, which are essentially small. 
So um, the government took a, a decision to uh, ensure that they have a sound capital base going forward, which can be achieved through mergers and acquisitions, through organic and inorganic growth, etc. So they have given us a roadmap which says that all NBFIs in Sri Lanka must ensure that their total assets are in the region of 20 billion rupees by the end of the next financial year, which is 31st March 2023. Right. right. So uh, we are working towards that with Mahindra because of the partnership we have. Uh, we have been able to obtain a better rating for us because they are the parent. So we get one notch lower than the parent. So we are a double A uh, you know, rated company yeah, now. Yeah. Uh, thanks to uh, the prowess yes. of the Mahindra Group. Yes. And uh, with this, we have been very successful. And we, are, uh, we have created a roadmap which through organic growth to get to that uh, uh, 20 billion uh, limit. Awesome. So that's a great, uh, that's going to be a great step. It's uh, going to be a great step, yes. Okay, thank you so much. We have Mr. Raul Robello and Mr. Nalin Vergama today from Mahendra Ideal Finance. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.